Well, Ariel Troy, today I spoke with former attorney Patricia LaFrance, who says Holloway will have to prove two things to the jury starting tomorrow. One, that he is mentally unstable, and two, that his mental instability was the reason he shot the bride and bishop that day in 2019. Now, there are a few things to remember here. At this point, we know Holloway has insisted that he's not guilty of any of the criminal charges he faces, including attempted murder. In his opening statements last Tuesday, he claimed he shot bride Claire McMullen and Bishop Stanley Choate in an act of self-defense. Holloway has listed his mother as a potential witness to testify on his mental state and on the abuse he experienced as a child. LaFrance tells me the burden of proof here is all on Holloway, and she says he has to prove with clear and convincing evidence that he was insane at the time of the shooting. His focus is going to be on his mental state at the time, whether he has his mother testify or whether he has a doctor, if he's if he was being treated for a mental um, health issue, a mental disease or defect at the time, certainly that may play into it. Now, we know that prosecutors have said the fact that the groom's son killed Holloway's stepfather just days before this all happened could have been a possible motive, but it's still unclear whether or not Holloway himself will take the stand. Ariel.